here, I'm going to cover how to add custom code that you either bought, you know, as a plugin for Squarespace or that you just found on the blog or that you actually came up with. Um, so there are multiple places where you can do that. First, if you want to style um, your whole website, let's say you want all of the heading ones. This is a heading one. Let's say you want all of them to be black. So we're going to go to design, custom CSS. And the way you select the heading one is H1. And color, we can say black, but usually you do a hex code, which is basically the way that you refer to uh, color. And if it doesn't show here, you'll see sometimes on code that you find uh, that people add important, which is to override the styles that Squarespace establishes for you. Um, so that's one way to add code throughout the whole website. Um, if you wanted to just add this to the homepage, you copy that. You remove it from custom CSS here. You go to the page that you are aiming at or targeting. Um, and if it's an index page, which I'll cover in another video, you have to only select the one with this little, those two little rectangles. You go to that sign here, um, advanced, and you copy the code here. Uh, if it is CSS, which is usually a styling, you add style here because it does not know what you're referring to. Um, and you paste your style here, save, and now it works. Now, if you wanted to add it to, let's copy that first, raise, save. If you wanted to add it to a normal page, that's a normal page, you just select that page, you click on the little sign here, um, and you add it here, save. And it will only apply to contact page which, you know, isn't a problem here. And it will not apply to the home page. So that's one thing that you can do to target different pages. Another thing is, let's say you found a plugin where you came up with the code yourself, but it's more involved. Uh, so I have this, which is add the link to a folder on Squarespace. So that's, you know, a different type of code, right? Like it seems more involved. It also has this script sign. So you just copy all of it um, and you go to settings. Once you're on setting, you go down, down, advanced, and then you go to code injection. Um, depending on what code you have, people will probably tell you, hey, paste that in the header or paste that in the footer. For now, I'll paste in the header. Um, save. And basically, it, it won't do anything here because I don't have a folder, but it will affect your whole website. And as I said before, um, you can also target just one page. So we'll select all of this, copy, delete it from here because you don't want double code anywhere and you select the page that you want to target as usual um, we'll go to home that will sign here go to advanced and here you don't have to add anything because the code that you paste already has those little signs so the browser knows what it is about and you save and that means that the code that you applied here will only apply to the home page and definitely not to the contact page. So those are a couple of things that you can do to add custom code. If you have any more questions, please comment below and let me know. I would be happy to write a blog post about it or a video.